Oh, hey up. <laughs> What's he still doing here? <clears throat> I don't think he knows how to get back to the surf uh, back up to Skyloft. Oh, come on! I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. <laughs> God damn it. Groose, why are you such a loser? I always thought I was the boss, but I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody. I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Today is episode 21, and we're back down here in the forest. I can't remember what the forest is called. <laughs> and Groose isn't too happy about how things played out in the last episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Oh, don't worry about it, Groose. Where do we... Do we just go do our thing? Yeah, I reckon we just go do our thing. Right, where's the bird statue? I need to get myself out of here. Is there one in the immediate area anywhere? Uh, there's lots of little wind holes. There's a birch statue over there. Do I have to go up and around to get to that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave Groose there. It's fine. <laughs> we can head back to the academy. Oh, hello. This is very suspicious looking, isn't it? Come on. What's going on in here? What's with a random gap? I'm going to come back to that. Guarantee you that'll be for something later on in the game. Anyway, it's all good. Let's make our way over to it. Uh, so you remember in the last episode, we took down the BP oil monster. And I think our goal was essentially to just get ourselves back up to Skyloft. We have to find out the lyrics of the Song of the Goddess, I think it was. Which will basically give us clues to where the sacred flames are hidden in each of the three areas that we've already visited. So the Lanaria Mining Facility the Eldin Volcano, and the Forest Forest, because I can't remember what the forest is called. Actually, what did it say on the map? The Farron Woods. There you go, the Farron Woods. So, yeah, we basically got to go to each of those. And once we get all three of those flames imbued with our sword, then we'll actually be able to, um, to progress. Oh, come on. Oh, I can get over. Oh, you're having a giraffe. The statue's right there. Let me around. Oh, this sucks. You are... I, I can't believe this. Right. I'm going to have to go down here then and use a thing to fly up. There we go. Can't believe that. <laughs> Makes you walk all the way around and then it just does that to you. That's it. Come on. Let me go up. Nope. So that's not going to help me get up. Is there another one a little bit further down? Yeah, there is. Hopefully this one will let me get over. Oh, steady. And here we go. Up and over. Gotcha. That takes us back to where we started. Mm. Right, so there's no way of me. I'm going to have to go out the other door then. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> what a waste of time. I'm going to have to go out the other door, back through the Farron Woods, back to where the Goron is chilling out. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Right. Let's make, oh, sorry. There we go. Let's make our way back over to him. Whatever. Whatever. It's not like I wanted to go there anyway. It's not like I had any plans to go up to Skyloft today. Not in the immediate start of the episode. No, nothing like that at all. No, of course not. That would be efficient. Right, let's try catching these. Oh, great Goron! I found some! Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm, I, I just don't know. This could be a problem. <laughs> I can't carry a tune. The only thing I can sing is my heart will go on, but... That's only for special occasions. I couldn't create beautiful tones as if the wild animals were threatened. Uh, actually. Come on. Can I not actually catch these? Oh, I can! Ah! You caught one blessed butterfly. These insects are commonly found in every province. In rare cases, you'll find them flying in strange locations. Right. Only catch me a load of these. Oh, yeah. Butterfly catcher pro is on the prowl. Come on. Right, you're doing my head in now. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Ah. Oh, this one then. This, yeah, this neck ca catching crap isn't very good. Come on. How am I not getting him? No, no, I don't want to catch a gore on, no. Oh, hello. I love you too, bud, but it's a little soon. Right, let's try strumming this then. Oh, that was it. That was literally just... Oh, way up. 
Boing, 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 boing. That is it! It's one of those talking statues the ancient text spoke of. There's just no mistaking it. Oh, thank you very much. You randomly got an ornamental skull. Where the bloody hell did it come from? <laughs> I don't know. It's a question I'm asking myself. What the hell? Where did that even come from? Boy, oy, 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 oy. Let's have a chat then. Gossip stones. Oh, they're called gossip stones. Okay, cool. If you find a spot swarming, play a great melody and the gossip stone might just pop out the ground with a boy, oy, 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 oy. Is that it? That's literally all you have to say. Brilliant. Right. Anyway, back up to the sky. I'm going to go back up to Skyloft. See what the crack is out there. Let's do it. Oh! And all the way back up. There we go. Let's go. Loftwing, here we come! Or a Toshwing, whatever. There we go. Let's do this. So, I'm assuming we go to the Academy, which is at the back end of this town, isn't it? So that'll be... There's the statue of the goddess. The old man isn't going to be chilling at the goddess statue, is he? ba 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 Right, here we go. Into there. So... Oh, that's it. Cool. Don't land on the bell. That would be very painful. <laughs> Some people get saved by the bell. You just get impaled by the bell. And... Oh! I don't even have to press it. I don't know why I bother asking you to press it, because it always does it anyway. I thought I'd leave it to the very last second to press B. To get my sailcloth out, but no, never mind. Here we go. So, who's going to know about some stuff in here then? Huh? Hey, Link! You're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that you'll fight for her when she comes back. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Actually, speaking of which, where's the wimpy kid? I haven't seen him in a while. I want to see how he's doing. I'm worried that he got probably caught by a butterfly. Uh, no, that's one of Groose's buddies. Don't want to talk to you. Oh, Granny. Hello, Granny. You want to have a little chat? Ah! These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. Who in the world is in there? I just wish they'd pipe down. Right, so somebody's talking to themselves on the toilet in the evening. Let's find out who that is. <laughs> I'm very curious to find out who it is. Uh, that's not my bedroom. No. Actually, speaking of which, whilst a minute, I may as well raid the cupboards. They've not got any? No? Okay, fine. Whatever. It's not like I wanted to go in there anyway. Right, where's my bedroom? My bedroom was... Fledge? No. Link! Ah, here we go. Link. In we go. Let's have a little nap until night time. We'll see who's in the bathroom. Uh, any rupees in the cupboard for me? It's the two fairy bin. I lost the baby one. Oh, it did! You've got a blue rupee! It's worth five rupees. Better drop it in your wallet for now. Thank you very much, I shall do. And off to bed we go. How long do you want to sleep for? Uh, until night. Thank you very much. I'm living on the American time zone now. In Zelda. And in IRL, to be fair. <laughs> oh, God. What? Why is there a gratitude crystal there? You got one gratitude crystal. Your quill really enjoys having you write with it. <laughs> what the hell? Right, okay. So why... I don't understand why that's there. You know what, it doesn't matter. Unless there's a note on the desk. Is there a note? Let me read this. Ah, oh, yes, I can read exactly what that says. No, I can't. Right. Anyway, to the bathroom. Dying to have a huge dump. Which way is it? Bathroom is... Where is the bathroom, actually? It's the bathroom... It's that one there, isn't it? That's the bathroom. Somebody, please help me release this demon. Oh, God. Let's find out who's in there. Who's struggling? Oh. Right, okay. 
Brilliant. Right, Granny, have you got any paper, love? Ah. ah, how are things? Now that you're here, you should find yourself a bed to lie down in and take a rest. No, oh, you got a sapling logo on your forehead. Ah, oh, yeah. You're a sapling, aren't you, Granny? Nice. Right, uh, paper. Where will we find paper? There's an open drawer there. Oh, no, there's not. Paper, paper, paper. Hmm. Where would we find paper? I mean, I suppose we've got a, a book in my room. Could always give them that. Yeah, let's do that. Where's my room gone to? It is just... No, that's... Oh. Oh. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just up in the middle of the night. It's fine. Oh. It's you, Link. What do you want with me? Huh? What, what am I doing? Bugs. I'm looking at bugs. That's not creepy at all, is it? I like collecting them and sticking them on my wall. Because they're amazing. Even more amazing than Groot in a lot of ways. Oh, wait. I'm not saying Groot isn't as amazing as bugs. Don't tell him I said that. Just look. I just really like bugs, okay? I want to collect all kinds of bugs, just like Pokemon. I've got to have them all. Sometimes I even dream about having, like, an entire island of bugs. It's a bit weird, but I like to walk on it, and I, it's like, I, how about this? Okay, fine. Link, here's the plan. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. When it comes to bugs, rupees are no object. Uh, okay, yeah, wicked. <laughs> now, all my bug collecting ambitions will finally be realised. So if you're ever wanting to sell any bugs, just bring them to me. I usually hang out here at night. I won't just buy any bug though. What I buy on any given day just depends on the mood that I'm in. Oh, uh, one other thing. This might bug you a little, but I want to do the deals at night. I have a reputation to protect, you know. Got it, Link? <laughs> I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting on you. I can't stop thinking about bugs, butterflies, ladybirds. Oh, there's so many. So let's get to it, shall we? Want to sell me something now? Let's see. Tonight I feel like a blessed butterfly, a Gerudo dragonfly, and how about a starry firefly as well? Ah, which do you want to sell me? Can I just sell them all? Whatever, I'll just sell them all. What? You don't even have one of those. You look like you wouldn't harm a fly, but you're still trying to rip me off. Or do you just want to sell me a different bug? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Do you want to sell me a blessed butterfly? No, I want to sell you a dragonfly, mate. I like my blessed butterflies. A Gerudo dragonfly, hmm? How about 30 rupees for one? How many have you got there? One? And how many of those are you looking to sell? Uh, I will sell one of them. <laughs> one Gerudo dragonfly, eh? I'll give you 30 rupees. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, here's your money. <laughs> Thanks, Mantis Face. That's a compliment, by the way. I mean it. I really do. I love Mantises. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing more of your bugs, Link. Well, it's a good thing that's not a euphemism. Yeah, I want to sell you something else. Let's see. Tonight I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken tonight. Yes. Only the British audience will understand that reference. And probably only the ones that are about the same age as me. But that's okay. I would like to sell all five of them. Why not? Five blessed butterflies. 25 rupees! You gave me 30 for that dragonfly. Not a chance, mate. <laughs> I'll be seeing you then. <laughs> You're going to have to butter fly me up if you want to get a better price. <laughs> so Oh, I need paper. Who's in here? Fledge. How's it going, Fledge? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> of all the things you could be doing. Oh, hey, Link. Five, six, seven. Oh, oh my God, I'm exhausted. Let me catch my breath. Oh, hey, Link. What am I doing? Uh, I'm, I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though. So I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. Everybody's got, like, their own little hidden agendas in the evening in Skyloft, haven't they? Makes me wonder when any of them actually sleep. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. Uh, if there was only a potion that would give me stamina, 
Then I could drink that and maybe find that last bit of strength that I need. To reach what? Ten? <laughs> Fair chance, right? I suppose I have to just put my nose to the grindstone. Yep, just buckle down and bootstraps and all that. Uh, right? Anyway, I'll just keep working on this for as long as I can. All on my own. I guess. Well. Right, cool. So we got to get you a stamina potion. We can do that. Oh, it's turning into side quest episode all over again, isn't it? So, okay, hold on. Checklist. We need bugs. We need toilet paper. We need a stamina potion. Let's go see what Groose is up to. He's probably waxing his waxing his bikini line. Oh, why are you in Groose's room? Do you share a room with him? Okay, this is creepy. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Groose. His room is mine now. Uh, yeah, I think you are scared of him. Can I not punch that? No, I can't punch that. Right, have you got anything in your room, Groose, that I can take? Look at you with your weights. Beefcake! No, nothing else in here. Oh, let me check Groose's cupboard. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Alright, sorry. Whatever. Right, cool. Toilet paper. Where's the paper at? Let's try and tear a page out of the book in my bedroom. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Classroom. Ah, this paper in here. Where do we get this paper from? Come on, let's go, go. Ah, oh, you can see the paper just sat there. It's infuriating not being able to pick it up. Paper. Can I not douse for paper? <laughs> That'd be helpful. Um. Oh, come on. Why can't I get no paper? Oh, no, I can take that off the wall. That's it. Oh. What, what did that say? Always dive from a designated diving platform. Yeah, whatever. No, I need paper. God damn it. Maybe you can only get paper during the day. Maybe a lot of these things you can only get during the day. It's just annoying, though, because they're sat there. I hate it when games do that. It's like, oh, go find me a torch. There's one on the wall. Oh, but you can't have that torch. No. Because it clearly matters. Headmaster's HQ. Oh. No, don't go in there. It's night time. Could be in there with his missus. Oh, here we go. We can go into instructor's room. What's he? Oh. Ah, this is the guy that has the really cool voice, isn't it? Hmm? Well, Link. Are you close to finding Zelda? Don't give up. I believe anyone can find Zelda. It's you. Uh, you got any paper, friend? You got plants? I suppose trees turn into paper. No! Stop it! Stop talking to me! Right. No, there's nothing in here to take. Ah, oh, bugger. Right, hold on. Let me get out of here. We'll see what else is around. There we go. Baby, when the lights go out. Karain? Who's Karain? I don't think I've met Karain before. Is that a girl? Oh. Um. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, f sorry. <laughs> she needs to take a bath. However, there is now... What? Whoever is in there now, hurry up and get out. Oh, okay, so somebody's already in the bathroom. Okay, I see. No, I don't want to stay for a tea party. Leave me alone. I'm a man. I'm a hero. Instructor Hallwell. I think I just went in there, didn't I? Okay, let's try this room. Oh, Zelda's room. Oh, what? Cock block. Cock block. What's this room? Oh, the bathroom. Here we go. Nope, can't get in there either. Um, so it's the same person occupying the toilet that's occupying the bathroom. Another gratitude crystal. So, uh, I don't understand. Did I water the plant at one point and it's happy that I did it? It's like, ah, oh, thanks for watering me. I'm like, no problem, friend. No problem whatsoever. Can I go outside at night time? I can. Okay, cool. Where would paper be? I can't think of anywhere else where paper would be. It's not like there's a, like a paper boy that does his morning route, is there? Uh, I don't know if I want to be out at this time. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Right, I tell you what, let's go back to bed. We'll go get the stamina potion. We'll maybe find paper. Probably not. But as long as we can get him to do ten push-ups, that's the objective of today's episode. <laughs> that's all that matters. Right, let's go downstairs then. Around the little bend. Right, where's my room? Have I checked that room yet? Oh, yeah, that's Grusa's room, yeah. Oh, so we're, like, across the hall from each other. Ah, huh. we should be bezies. We should be best friends at this rate. Right, let me just see if there's any paper in here. What was that little noise? Someone crying? Oh, way up. Oh! Okay, that sounds really wrong. Oh, God. The walls are thin. I know what everybody's thinking. 
I'm not going to say it, but you can say it in the comments if you want. Oh, that's a bit wrong, isn't it? Especially at night time as well. I'm all for privacy, but still. Right, let's get into bed. I don't want to hear any more of that. Let's just pretend that we can't hear it until morning. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy hell. There we go. Good morning. There we go. Good morning, Link. Welcome back to the Academy. Right, we need some paper, friend. Let's go to the classroom, because there might be somebody in there now who can give us paper. Or maybe the person's still stuck in the toilet. Oh, hey, up it's her from last night, the tea party girl. Hi. Hi, hey up. What do you think about Pippet? He's alright, yeah, he's cool. Oh, she got a crush. She got a crush. Oh. Bless her. She's in love. She's in love. Right, cool. Uh, paper. Can we rip the paper off that wall there? No running in the halls. Okay, whatever. Right, anyway, let's go get a stamina potion. It's important. Let's go do it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You've got paper. You have a piece of paper in your hand. Um, should I give this to her? Should I not give it to her? No. Oh, Link! Yeah. Oh, it's you. Don't stick up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now. And you're distracting me. What's up? What's wrong? What? You want to hear about it? Mm. Normally I would never ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times, my friend. Come to think of it, you might just be the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Yeah, because he's defo good with the ladies. His girlfriend's in another realm. <laughs> She's like, she couldn't get further away from him. She's like, oh god, what on earth is he doing? She's like, oh I know what, I've gone on a different earth. Yeah, let's go there instead. Uh, I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. Okay, cool. Who are we giving this to? Please tell me not giving it to the girl who likes Pippet. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, what's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in the restroom... At night, who wants paper? You fool! How dare you! This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter. I put in my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like a... All right, fine. It's a love letter. And that is why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. You hear me? Oh, God. So, listen up. The person you must give it to is a girl. A senior student, her name is Karain. Oh no. She likes Pippet though. The love triangle has begun. Oh no. Oh god. You know who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it! Right, I don't know what to do. Here it is. I'm entrusting you this letter. So don't read what's inside. You hear me? Right, okay. You've received you've received Colin's letter. Can you believe this letter might actually contain heartfelt words from Colin? Take extra care if you don't end up using it as a scrap of paper. Oh, oh yeah, thanks, yeah. I'm counting on you. Link, if you don't mess this up, then maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. Now, get to it. Right, okay, so we've got the paper. <laughs> oh dear, we're going to use it as toilet paper. He's going to be so upset. I mean, I might try and take it to Korean before we use it as toilet paper. Well, yeah, we'll do that before we go to bed in the evening. Because obviously we can give old little wimpy his little potion. Right, which way are we going? We need to go up, don't we? <gasps> oh, hiccups. There we go. And across. Whoops, that it. Camera angle. There we go. Right, there we go. So we're going to get this stamina potion, I reckon. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly gonna save. It's been a while since I saved. There we go. Atham. Coolio! Right, there we go. Da 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 Here we go, cool. Speaking of which, actually, that melody, um, a friend of mine called Pedro, he makes music for lots of different YouTubers and stuff, and he made me a thing called In the Little Lullaby, and it's one of the themes, it's one of the songs from Zelda, but with my theme tune also worked into it as well. So if I can, I'll ask him if I can put a link in the description to it. It's called In the Little Lullaby, and it's really, really cool. I love it. Uh, oh, hi, Helga. Yeah, I'd like a stamina potion, please. 
That would be marvellous. 50 rupees, Jesus. Our friend better get as big as Groose is. Otherwise, it's going to be a waste of money, <laughs> to be fair. There we go. Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Somebody told me in the last episode that I can mix potions. So I've got a revitalizing potion and a heart potion. Now, is there a chance that I can mix the two of those into one? Here we go. Ah, hello. Welcome to my humble shop. I uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to do. Well, uh, do you have any potions you'd like me to infuse? Uh, yeah, go on then. Uh, there are potions you're currently carrying that I can infuse. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's go for the revitalizing potion. Automatically repairs your shield when broken and restores eight hearts. Hell yes. Oh, I don't have any of those stuff. Right, so I need bugs for this as well. Literally got zero bugs. This potion. Ah, good thing I didn't sell my blessed butterflies earlier on. Oh, yeah. So I need a woodland rhino beetle. Right, okay. I'm really going to have to go do like a massive a massive bug hunting session, aren't I? <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to do that. Oh, I hope Tingle's got a bubble above his head. Wait, oh, that shield looks nice. Oh, yeah, I want that shield. Tingle. Aha! I've got something new in stock for you, friend. It's a very mysterious shield called the Sacred Shield. I suggest you linger and give it a good look. Yeah, I want it. How much does it cost? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Ah, the Sacred Shield. As you might surmise from its name, it can handle a variety of attacks. Fire? No sweat. Electricity? No painful zaps. Plus, it will automatically repair itself when it sustains damage. It's a little fragile, but that shouldn't be a problem for one as talented and agile as you. At a cost of 500 rupees, it's an investment, but an excellent one. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's like all my money. And typically with stuff that ends up in Tingle's store, <laughs> that face, I end up getting it anyway. I tell you what, you're going to have to educate me in the comments section. So hopefully you've watched until the end of this video. If you have, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video, by the way. It's a thing that I'm going to start asking at the end of videos. Because obviously if you've made it this far, then you must be enjoying the video to some extent. So yeah, that's just a little heads up for you. But yeah, do I buy that or do I not? That's the question. But anyway, let's head our way back to the academy. We'll see what the crack is inside of there. And see what happens when we give him the potion. Watch him do like 20 push-ups. It'll like it exceed his expectations by like double. That'd be awesome. Right, here we go then. Back into the academy. See what's going on inside of here. And here we go. Ta-da! Oh, what's going on here then? Oh, there we go. That's right, I thought the game had frozen then. I was like, oh no. Uh, no, I don't speak to Pippet, do I? No, I don't speak to Pippet. Okay, cool. Right, well, we'll take it to evening first. Uh, now where was that guy? He's next door to me, isn't he? Is he the one that was making the weird noises last night? <gasps> oh, maybe it was, because then that would explain the sit-ups, the uh, press-ups, and the the rude noises and things. <laughs> right, to bed with me! Uh, until the night time. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Go to sleep. Oh, I should play it in the little lullaby here. Ah. <gasps> hold on a minute. Hold on. If I think now, hold on. Is there any music in the evenings? There's not. Okay, cool. I am going to put the In The Little Lullaby under my voice right now. That's what I'm going to do. Because there's no music, so I may as well do it. Awesome. Probably hear it now. You'll be able to hear my theme song inside of that as well, so make sure you get ready for it. Ah, oh, yeah, it's Fledge. Here we go. Five, six... Seven. Ah, I just. Whew, I need a breather. Link, what have you got there? Is that a, a stamina potion? I, I don't suppose you'd. Uh, let me have that, would you? There you go, take it. Oh, uh, really? Thanks. I owe you one. I always owe you one. He always owes me one. That's it. <laughs> Whoa! I'm strong like He Man. Hear me roar! Go Thundercats! Woo, yeah! I can feel my muscles perking back up already. I feel like the strong man guy from... The, what's it called? Full Metal Alchemist! It's been passed down from my family for generations. At this rate, I don't think I know if I'll ever get strong and barely enough. Yes, you can. Let's be motivational. Oh, wow! Really? It's great to hear you're so confident in me. 
Maybe I can actually do this. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud, you'll see. I'll be super birdie in no time. Okay, back to training. These guns aren't gonna fire themselves. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just had to add that line in. Right, no gratitude crystals then, eh? No gratitude crystals. So I've wasted money on you. You're gonna give me a goddamn thing. What a waste. What a waste. I'm gonna rob your cupboard. Uh, no, I can't open it. Whatever. Ah, <sighs> fine. Right, open the door. Here we go. Let's see what the score is. Right, uh, now, should we make it daytime? We'll try and take Karina the letter, or whatever, or whatever her name was. Yeah, we'll make it daytime. We'll take her the letter, and then if she doesn't take the letter, then we'll use it as toilet paper. That'll work. Uh, until the morning. Shut the bedroom window in the morning. Go to the shop, make plans to believe in. Good morning, Link. Are you ready to continue your adventure? Uh, not quite, friend, no. Today, I am actually going to be going to the library, or the classroom, whatever it's called. And I'm going to speak to you with the love letter. Uh -huh. Oh, Pippet. Oh, bless you. Oh, there she is. She's kind of manly looking, isn't she? What's the matter? Do you uh, need something? I wonder if you heard what I was just talking about. Yeah, okay, I'll give you the letter. She might just screw it up and throw it in my face. And then it'll become toilet paper anyway. Could it be from Pippet? I'll just give it to you anyway. It's fine. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh, right. you better not have put a secret admirer on it. That's already terrible handwriting. <laughs> anyway, never mind that. Let's see what it says. Okay. Uh, greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and the deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me. You're a brave knight, Colin. Um. Wow. Yeah, he's one of Grusa's flunkies. Mmm. <laughs> Tough choice. Ah. Yeah, consider going out with Colin. You ain't got a chance with Pippet anyway. He's out your league, love. I'm sorry. Sorry to break it to you. Ah, you know what he'll think? He'll get jealous. That's what he'll think. He'll get jealous and he'll be like, Oh yeah, that's fine. She's going out with that guy. And But really inside he's crying himself to sleep. Let's go speak to Colin. See what he's up to. There we go. Oh, what? You, you actually did it? You gave the letter to Corrine? Oh no, oh no. What now? What do I do? Maybe I should go see what she... What, what did he say? Sorry. What should I do? My heart is pounding. Uh, I don't know, friend. Is the toilet still open? Right, so the toilet's still open. Interesting. <laughs> paper! 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 Okay, cool. Right, why don't you just use the big brush? I mean, I actually know that would hurt, wouldn't it? That'd be very painful. <laughs> right, back to the library then. We're playing Cupid here. Jesus. Looks like that guy in the bathroom's never going to get his toilet paper. Oh, is that it? We're done. Huh. Oh, there we go. I guess we'll never know them. Damn me and being so kind and wanting to see the world filled with love. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there for today. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Granny needs some. Ah, these past few days, I swear I've heard a voice every time. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, no, wait. So the toilet quest is still there. Oh, wait. Now he's talking again. Hold on a minute. Ah, so Karain finally knows how I feel about her. What should I do? My heart is pounding. Wait, I'm confused. The quest seems to be starting and stopping again. What's going on? So you're not talking. Let me make it night time. Then we'll see what happens. We'll make it this night time very quickly. At least then it gives us another chance to listen to In the Little Lullaby. Or In the in the Lullaby. Something like that. Right. Until night time. Good. There we go. After bed, after bed, after bed. There we go. Ah, it's my music. Here we go. Right, so. Toilet. Let's go to the toilet. Let's see what the crack is over there. Somebody still in there? Nope. The Please forget about the paper. Goodbye. Right, okay, so they wanted us to forget about the paper completely. Awesome. 
done. Granny, they're, they're going to... Actually, they'll probably keep on whining. It's fine. Ah, well, there we go then. Anyway, cool. So I finished playing Cupid. I finished wasting money on that scrawny guy who's just using it to do other things anyway. And, um, yeah, let me know if I should buy that shield or if I should just wait out to find it in a dungeon chest or something. And I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye!